I've never seen a flat Earth flag. But you I know haven't what? either. But like... I, I, gar- I, I mean, what does what think... does the Earth look like on a flat Earth flag? Dude, I saw I this guy to believe it's a that sphere. the other day. <laughs> <laughs> they have a ball. They just no, because yeah. they believe there's an ice ring around the. They whole believe planet. different things. This guy was trying to explain the other day that it was like an eyeball with an iris, and that it had like this comet tail behind it, and we lived on this stripe in the middle of the ball. But it's not a sphere. It's like it's more like a, I don't know, a teardrop. Like a, like a long teardrop is what what shaped like, and we're this stripe that goes around the. It, don't listen to anything they say. The fact that we're discussing it is giving it credence. It's hmm. absurd. It's absurd. We've Boss seen discussing it from something space. gives it credence. I don't think so. We've seen the thing from space, and 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 the fact that no, they those are that, lies. You didn't the know fact that, that they think lies. that every pers- every space organization in the world is in on the same lie is one of the most absurd things ever. That 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 for some reason. China, Israel, Russia, and the United States all have common ground on this on this one thing, and those are just like a few of the powers. There's been that. To sp- so, do I agree the fact that they? But they also have to extend that to the like the whole maritime industry, the whole aviation industry. There are other people who count on the Earth being hey. round. To get yeah, places. Last year, a guy took a, a balloon up to what eighty thousand feet, and he jumped with a camera on his head. Remember this guy? You saw pretty much that, okay, really? this is a round thing. I, it's like, this is a guy, you know, he was up there. People saw yeah. him come down. And I don't know you're talking about, the, uh, the Red Bull guy. So the yeah, Red Bull guy was up there, like, in space. Remember that, like, the biggest, yeah, yeah. like, like free fall ever? Feet. Like, yeah, like, you could see the curvature of the planet, <laughs> like, as he's falling. You can see that same curvature from a commercial airplane. Can you? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Like when the you look at the horizon, suck. the horizon's got a little curve to it. Does it? I, I need to look, look again. When you're, go to the beach. Look <laughs> out there. You <laughs> notice how at, at some point the boat just disappears? It's going over the fucking piece horizon. Piece by piece. Yeah, yeah. I, I've flown, uh, James doesn't know, I, I fly this little personal aircraft called a paramotor. And I've gone to about 12,000 feet. It's like a parachute with a fan on your back. I know exactly what it is, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. I go to 12,000 feet, Earth looks flat. Completely flat. And I was looking. I, I wanted to see the curve. I'm <laughs> willing it into existence. And it's like, it's just flat. It's flat from everywhere at 12,000. You can't see it. I don't know at 36. Maybe. You I, can the, see it. Like, when you look you, at the horizon, the horizon's got a little curve to it. You're, you're, yeah, you're up yeah, there. Like I, 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 climbed, I did some uh, mountain climbing, and I was up to 16,000 feet. Uh-huh. And it's flat as hell. At 16? Yeah. Yeah, 16,000 feet is flat as hell. I mean, I, but Jeez. that's because, you know, the, the topography of the Earth, it, it's, you know, it, it doesn't give you that linear thing. So you are going to have your, and your eyes, your eyes, and plus the curvature has a reflective thing with the light that bounces that. So there's all kinds of science with yeah. that. I feel like if the Earth was really flat, like Russia or China by now, would have exposed it and made us look like fools. Been like, <laughs> oh, look at them. They they lied to you about this round Earth, and then they show, like, verifiable proof it's flat. Like, you know what? That, really that would have happened by now. I, I Googled it. It says yeah. Kyle's right. It says you should be able to detect it from an airplane. They cruise at about 35,000 feet, but you need a fairly wide field of view 60 degrees. So do you get that from a window? Probably do. You put your, if your face all the way right? in. Right? You should be just short yeah. of one. And I do. Want, not I'm a full a 180, but yeah. It's in what aisle you're in, I think. If you're in that middle <laughs> aisle, you get the seat right next to your face there. Right, you know? if the wing's not there. But if you if you go to like maybe all the way in first class and put your face in the window, you probably get 60 degrees. Maybe. I mean, if you try and barge into the pilot's <laughs> seat. <laughs> hey, I, gotta, I need to have a word with you. <laughs> I need to know it's curved. <laughs> <laughs> you start barking about the, cur- the, the flat earth and pounding on the pilot's door they'll let you right in every time i think that would be a a cool feature for planes you know how they have those little tvs maybe this is already a thing well you can you can put stuff in you can like check where you are in your flight Mm -hmm. and whatnot Mm -hmm. they should have a camera where you can like see see through the front of the plane they have that they do yeah oh i've never seen that before yeah i've seen that on delta flights 